But in the meantime, a very basic question, what are the numbers from coronavirus? And specifically, is it more effective? Are you more protected once you've covered from coronavirus, as about 100 million Americans already have, or if you've gotten the vaccine? You'd think that we would know the answer to that, but it's hard to get to the answer. Dr. Martin McCary wrote an amazing piece, a really interesting piece in the Wall Street Journal that looked at that. He's a professor uh, at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you for your piece, which I, I thought was really smart. Um, and you make the point that we should be able to get these numbers and we can't. So what is the truth, do you think, about natural immunity versus the vaccines based on the data? Well, the largest study ever performed was in Israel, and it shows that natural immunity is 27 times more effective than vaccinated immunity, the opposite of what our public health officials have been trumpeting for the last year or so. And it's interesting, the largest and most powerful studies epidemiologically are coming out of Israel. And kudos to them for tracking things very well. But where is the CDC? You know, when it came to studying cloth versus surgical masks, the only cluster randomized controlled trial was done in Bangladesh. We're the United States of America. We spend $4 trillion on health care. The CDC has 41,000 employees along with the NIH. They have 20 times the data. We should be producing the most definitive, conclusive data on boosters, natural immunity, child vaccination outcomes, all kinds of stuff, but instead, they're stuck to their legacy processes where, whereby the NIH, for example, spent twice as much money on aging research last year than it did on COVID research. So when you have these basic questions, the public is asking, how does it spread? When are you most contagious? We had a vacuum of good data to answer those questions. And as a result, political opinions filled that vacuum. And that was really how we got behind the eight ball with such a polarized debate over this pandemic. It should be really simple. I mean, 100 million-ish Americans have recovered from COVID. They have the antibodies to it, and they want to know, should I get the vaccine or not? And, you know, what are the numbers on it? And I appreciate the work that you have done to bring the facts to the public. I wish others were doing the same. Dr. Marty McCary, thank you. Thanks, Tucker.